So many day traders make this critical mistake when they're scalping. They only look at price action and higher highs and higher lows, but the mistake that screws them over time and time again is quite easy to spot. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name's Artie, and this is The Moving Average, a show where we discuss everything day trading to keep you profitable. This video is gonna be one of my world-famous two-minute tutorials, so let's get into the charts. What I want you guys to do, I know you're scalping, I know you like the lower time frame like I do, but what I want you to first do is take the price out of whatever you're trading out to a higher time frame. Right now, I have Australian dollar, US dollar on a daily time frame. And what I want you to do is focus on these areas, the areas where price rejected and made a new trend and only focus on these areas just for five minutes. I'm going to show you something that's really going to change where your take profits and where your stop losses are and even where your entries are. Okay, so what we're gonna do is not use straight lines. We're gonna use zones and boxes because it's not an exact science, but it's pretty damn close. All of these areas, I want you to draw a rectangle and take it all the way out to the left. You'll understand why in just a second. So since Thursday, the 21st of October, 2021, these are the key levels for this specific asset, Australian dollar, US dollar. Even if I drag this one out, you can see it did it right there. So these are the key levels that you need to keep in mind. The one thing that scalping traders do not do is look at what the actual price in these zones is. They just look at the zones and not think about the actual price. So if we look at this first one, the actual price that it got this wick and dumped down from is 0 0.7600, almost exactly. But the entire range is like 50 pips-ish. This one right here, looking left, is exactly 0 0.73000. This range right here, looking at the price of the chart, is 0 0.70000. The reason why price spikes from these areas is that they are known as major bank levels, meaning that banks are targeting these areas specifically because they are dumping a large sum of money transferring moving currencies from Australian dollar to US dollar or vice versa at these specific levels. And you can start seeing patterns being formed at these areas. Some of you guys have already noticed, but the difference between every one of these is 300 pips exactly. So if you subtract 300 pips from 0 0.67000, what do you get? That's right, 64000. Let's look at that price level. Draw a horizontal line there, and what do you get? More rejections, more support being shown at this specific level. So if you're scalping on a much smaller time frame, like the one minute or the five minute, but you're looking at price structure, you're looking at higher lows and higher highs, you get into your trade, the price targets that I want you to focus on when you're holding those scalps longer or going in a specific direction is look at which one it's closest to and how you can get into that trade into that zone. And another key mistake that people make is entering trades at these levels. You do not know definitively if it's going to go up or down from these levels. So getting in while price is here might keep you in an area of consolidation for more than you're comfortable with. Wait until you're seeing definitive rejections on a higher time frame, then look for your higher highs and higher lows on your lower time frame, like your five minute. And when determining your overall higher time frame trend, as you can see here, we had a couple of fake outs as price kept pushing down, but now we are clearly above that trend line. So I can comfortably say that Australian dollar, US dollar, on the daily time frame is on an uptrend until price breaks this trend line and or retests this level of known support and resistance or the uptrend that's what i'm focusing on right here so these are your options and you must be aware of all of this even if you're scalping and focusing on that smaller time frame always understand that there are key psychological and key bank levels on every single asset that you're trading it does not matter if it is bitcoin that one's at 35,000 that one's at 47,000 and this one is at 18,000 you can see rejections 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 off of these levels 
This is 34,000. This is 30,000. Key levels like this are going to help you hold your trades longer or get you in the right direction. Rejections off of these key levels are monumentally more important than other levels. So if you guys wanna improve your trading, dial in your trend lines and dial in your support and resistance areas, watch this video right here. And if you got some value out of this video, you like the way that I teach, make sure you're dropping a like and subscribe if you have not already. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.